Good day, my wonderful viewers and subscribers from all over the world. You are welcome to yet another episode with me on the truth with Ben Jokes. Now, without doubt, we are at a time in Nigeria under the APC where no sector seems to be working. For over two weeks now, Nigerians have been battling with fuel scarcity across the country. And of course, that is in addition to heavy poverty and hunger that is in the land. But the most alarming issue here is the recent surge in the cases of insecurity across the country. Bandits, kidnappers, and headsmen began mass killings from Christmas Eve 2023 in Plateau. And as we stepped into January 2024, they began killing as if they had a target to meet, you know, a target of the number of Nigerians that must go down this year 2024 but recently they stepped it up more as if to say the year is about rounding up and they have not met their target and this time around the southwest region is taking a major hit the southwest for many years have looked away from confronting and exposing the bandits full and headsmen you know kidnappers in their region because they feel it will affect their political alliance with the House of Fulanese, who are the major perpetrators of this evil. But now the insecurity in the Southwest has totally gone out of hand. Many Yorubans living in the interior villages have fled their homes. They are now all coming into the city center because their homes are no longer habitable due to persistent attacks from gunmen, Fulani headsmen, bandits, call it whatever. But the insecurity is now spreading to the city center as well. About a month ago, bandits blocked a major highway around Shagamo in Ogun State and they abducted scores of travelers, even eliminating some. But some people from the southwest think that all these mean nothing because they have not touched Lagos, as if Lagos is the only place that deserves safety in the southwest. But few hours ago, Tension broke out in the Agungi Aja community of Lagos State as gunmen attacked and shocked Lagosians. So, Southwest, your darling Lagos is now starting to feel the heat of the insecurity that you have looked away from for political reasons. Before I show you details of that attack and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this video. It's the level of um, uh, impunity, as, as it were and the ability of these armed groups to operate with almost um, no resistance, uh, almost completely from the security forces. Uh, in the eastern part of Sokoto, comprising uh, mainly three local governments, uh, ISA, uh, and ISA local government, um, uh, Gubirawa, and, and, and one other local government, mm. the level of um, security occurrences where this gunmen are able to come in, operate with almost uh, an impunity that is shocking. Uh, it has been ongoing for quite a while. Uh, and so that's what continued um, today uh, and a, a few days back when they came in and um, the tally is that today is almost 190 persons. That, that that's they, extraordinary. That exactly. And then if you add that to the number of cattle that, that has been rustled. Um, now the thing is there are what, what we've termed ungoverned spaces, um, forests where they are able to hide uh, both the human beings that they mm. abduct and then the cattle that, that they rustle. But then uh, it, it's amazing that these ungoverned spaces have existed for, for quite a while. And continue to and, exist. Uh, exactly. <laughs> um, now, because that part of Sokoto is neighboring Zamfara State, and to an extent, if you also go a little bit further, uh, Niger Republic, mm. then one can understand the complexity of the situation. But on top of all of that, and I'm really happy you kind of captured it in your introductory remarks, is the almost non-accountability by the security uh, forces. Um, all of this is happening. The, in fact, the cops of the um, kidnapped and killed uh, traditional ruler is still in the hands of mm. those bandits. From what we're hearing, they buried the cops. So the burial that his people did, where it was more or less a memorial service. You heard that. Now, yesterday I told you about the abduction of 192 persons from Sokoto State by these criminal kidnappers. And 151 persons out of the 192 abducted 
were taken from the same community where an Emir was abducted and killed days ago. The video you just watched is a confirmation of that update. And the speaker just revealed the level of impunity exhibited by these bandits. They demanded 60 million naira to release the body of the slain Emir. And when the money was not paid, they buried the body themselves, leaving his family to do a ceremonial burial. And when the government and security forces threatened to bring them to book, the kidnappers returned to the community and abducted another 151 persons to show the government that they are just bluffing. They took some other persons on their way out to take the figure to 192 victims, all under the APC government. Now, you can come and say kidnapping has become business in northern Nigeria. They are the ones kidnapping themselves. Yes, no one is disputing that with you. But whose responsibility is it to bring order and peace back to all regions that are battered by insecurity? If people have turned a crime into business, whose responsibility is, is it to fight that crime? The government, of course. But the APC government has failed to do that. Look at the level of insecurity in the southeast and southwest recently. The entire blame for me falls on government because the primary responsibility of every government is to secure lives and properties so you cannot fail in your primary responsibility and you expect me to blame the people what we are only urging the people to do is to rise and hold government accountable the apc has failed to protect nigerians and the people must kick them out for sanity to return to our land point blank period now, the next update is still on insecurity, which has spread rapidly across every corner of Nigeria. Let us look at how insecurity caused commotion in the Agungi Aja community in Lagos State. Look at how the papers reported it. Tension in Lagos community as gunmen kill Monarch's son. Reporters, there is palpable panic in the Ajiran community in the Agungi area of Leki, Lagos State. Following the brutal killing of Demola, the first son of the Ojomo of Ijiran land, Tijani Akinloe. According to a source who wished to remain anonymous due to the sensitive nature of the incident, the assassination occurred on Monday near a barn or supermarket along Chevron Drive. The killing has caused widespread panic, leading many residents to flee the area Punch reports, a notice from the management of an estate in the community confirmed the incident, advising residents to steer clear of Chevron, Agungi and Ajiran for their safety. The statement read, We wish to inform all residents that the son of the Ajiran Agungi king was assassinated today along Chevron Drive near a barn or supermarket. We urge our esteemed residents to avoid the Chevron, Agungi, and Nigerian areas for the time being to ensure their safety. The spokesperson for the Lagos State Police Command, Benjamin Hundain, stated that he was not yet informed about the situation, but assured that he would provide an update once he had more details. I am not aware. I will contact you once I'm privy to the information, he said. Broad daylight assassination in Lekki, Lagos State by unknown gunmen. This is how it starts. This is how they begin. This is just a test run. They will test run to see how the matter will be handled. What you see bandits and kidnappers doing in the north today did not start one day. They began gradually. Now we are seeing it in the southwest. Gunmen entered a church in our on those states and killed over 50 people on a sunday morning the matter was swept under the carpet they went to block a major highway in shagamu ogun state robbed people kidnapped people nothing was done now gone men have entered lagos to assassinate somebody a monarch son in bro day light and look at how nigerians reacted let's take some of the tweet reactions and this tweet here by comrade Issa Muhammad says, It is spreading from the north to there too. That is what we are seeing. That is what we are seeing in southwest Nigeria. 
the situation was politicized for a very long time. The people of the Southwest will not want to come out and discuss it because they feel that it will affect their political alliance, you know, with uh, the House of Fulanese, who they formed the APC together with. Now, continue to protect the party APC and your people will continue to die in the Southwest. We encourage you people to come out of this nonsense you are doing and rise up against this evil of the APC. And this tweet here by Dina says, Brace up for what is about to hit Nigeria. Only Jesus don't see him like this. Since the elites, they think they can oppress the poor, make them hungry and nothing will happen. Retrace your steps so... Hmm. I am telling you what is to come is not good. The optics does not look good at all. And Olan Rewaju Kayode here says, My people are busy defending Tinubu while they are already Finosorio Rulesun. Finosorio Rulesun means there is fire on your rooftop and you are going to sleep. Mm. And Fortune here says, Where is the Oro masquerade when you need them? Oh, why not bring out Oro now to do their main job? Southwest, you want to reduce yourself to a region where you only concern yourself with frivolities. Igbos are doing this, they are doing that. And this kind of havoc is being wrecked on Southwest states. Insecurity, chasing people away from your interior villages, their lands, their farms being taken over. And you are not paying serious attention to that? It is such a shame. You guys need to wake up. And Daniel in here says, this tension is happening at Agungi Aja, Lagos. I think Daniel Sin may be an eyewitness of what is happening. And this tweet here by official Refcom says, If those in charge of Nigerian leadership affairs cannot stop these incessant killings of Nigerian people, let's have a confederation. Let all region and tribes go home and take care of themselves. Each community should be taxed to provide security for itself. Now, I don't... Uh, go against this kind of opinions because i always keep saying it too if it will not work then let it not exist it is either nigeria works or we end it that is it and temi Tokbe here says there is no difference between the death of common lagosians and prominent lagosians the king should go and bury his son well it is not only about the king's son here it is about further occurrences you cannot isolate these issues because this is a trend now that is about to begin. We have seen how it started in other parts of the country. And we have seen how it is going. How it is already completely out of hand in places like Plateau State, Benue State, almost everywhere in the Northwest. And you would be foolish to think it cannot happen in Lagos State. You describe the landmass the way it is and all that. Mm -mm. Insecurity does not work like that. It can happen there and even become worse. That is why you must do the needful. Rise up against the APC because they are one of the sponsors of this act. Reject them to save your region. And in other news, contrary to the lies of Bayon Onuga that the prices of food items have all reduced, the MBS has revealed that prices of major consumables actually increased in the last month look at it prices of rice beans yams increased in july across nigeria despite inflation drop mbs report despite fall in prices of food going by the drop in food inflation for july 2024 some food prices have continued their steady increase this is according to a review of the national bureau of statistics mbs data which shows that the prices of beans, rice, yam, eggs, and gari increased in July despite the general drop in inflation in the country. This development was communicated by the Bureau in its latest Selected Food Prices Watch report for July 2024. Now, in their propaganda quest, there is nothing these people cannot do. They can go and influence some of those people that do start to just bring out some fake figures you will not be able to trace where the figures are coming from they are telling us that inflation has dropped in nigeria inflation that dropped that did not affect the prices of major consumables is that one a drop now the mbs has come out to expose them 
admittedly there was a drop in the prices of you know tomatoes and pepper that was because some you know harvest came from 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 the farms and then we experienced a drop in price which is what happens every year that one does not have anything to do with what anybody did every year it goes up it becomes very high then it it, it, it comes down at this point of the year and that was what happened and by ononuga began saying oh they have worked they have done a lot of work inflation is dropping and all that but national bureau of statistics nbs has come out to show us the real state of things that in the month of july we actually recorded increase in the prices of major consumables and like i always say propaganda will not do this work if you cannot actually come out and do this work nigeria will continue to get worse under these people but what am i even saying who is going to do the work who promised anybody that he was going to do any work that is what we should consider there was never a promise to make nigeria better when candidates were going to media houses telling Nigerians their plans, we never saw the APC and the PDP candidates. So it is even unreasonable to expect anything good from them. And like I keep saying, nothing good will come out of these guys. They have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And if Nigerians desire a great country that they can be proud of, then we must come together and get the APC out of power. But until then, make I draw the curtain here, enter town for more information. Bye for now.